A special report on advertisers targeting the spots that you see on television in a way that consumer advocates say most of us are completely unaware. Yes, your TV apparently can snoop on you because eight in ten homes in the U.S. now have TVs that are connected to the Internet, and that opens the door for all kinds of things. Tonight, an in-depth look at this issue, why some experts are up in arms, and how you can protect your privacy. Imagine two houses watching the exact same show at the exact same time on cable TV. But during a commercial, two totally different ads. One house sees this, the other house sees this, or this. If the idea of personalized ads now hitting your cable, satellite, or streaming service alarms you, let's ask the next question. How do they know what ads to show you? I've certainly heard you know, smart TV executives say, you know, we make more profit from the data than we do from selling the, the screen. Justin Brookman, director of tech policy at Consumer Reports, says it's not just cable and satellite companies keeping tabs on what you watch, it's your actual TV. Most TVs that are manufactured have the ability to watch what you're watching, so they're embedded usually with um, ACR, ACR, automated content recognition. So what happens is they take a snapshot of what's on your screen, they send it back to their lab, and they figure out what you're watching. Oh, it's succession. And they kind of add it to, to whatever profile they have about you. Streaming cable services like YouTube TV are a little more transparent about this. You could be watching an NFL game and get an advertisement with an info prompt. You click it and you're told that you received the ad because of the program you're watching, your age, gender, location, and Google history. Makes you wonder, what else does the TV know? According to a 2017 complaint by the Federal Trade Commission, TV manufacturer Vizio was accused of tracking consumers on a second-by-second -second basis. Streaming, cable, satellite, DVDs didn't matter, capturing up to 100 billion data points per day from more than 10 million TVs. The complaint says the data was collected by default with no warning or opt-in question. And while the info did not include consumers' names, it could include IP addresses, sex, age, income, marital status, household size, education, home ownership, and household value. Vizio maintained its innocence, but ultimately paid millions in a settlement. Sean O'Brien is the founder of Privacy Lab at Yale Law School. He says the same data brokers that track you on Facebook, Twitter, and Google are also working with TV companies in real time. If you have, let's say, a smartphone and you're scrolling through it at the same time that you're watching a show on television, um, if a commercial comes on, that commercial can be correlated with a commercial on your phone. And if they're really good at it, they can actually put the exact same commercial on Facebook and so on. Now, you can control a lot of this by finding the app on your TV and opting out. But either people don't know about it or don't care about it. Why do I say that? Samba TV, the company that collects data on your viewing habits on Sony and 23 other brands of smart TVs, is installed in 46 million TV sets globally, according to its website. You know how many of those 46 million asked Samba to delete their data last year? 56. Hmm. Kind of puts it in perspective, right? It sure does. We're watching you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Here's our text line number, 716-849-2220.